Hello everyone, it's me Clayton. I just finished watching Sonic the Hedgehog 2, directed by Jeff Fowler and starring Ben Schwartz, Colleen O'Shaughnessy, Idris Elba, and Jim Carrey. Now, when it came to the 2020 Sonic the Hedgehog film, I think most people can agree it was one of the big surprises of that year. Which is to say it was a year of cinema where we got almost nothing. But after a, a heavily criticized trailer back in 2019, Paramount actually listened to the fans' complaints and gave us a movie that was a surprising hit, despite some clear flaws. And with the sequel, made two years later, it's bigger and, e and, ba and badder in every single way. But bad is in good. Yeah, I'm using that 90s slang here, because Sonic would. The parts that are, that are from the games are really good, and the addition of Tails and Knuckles certainly adds a lot of star power to Sega's lineup. But there's also a few more parts, a few more parts with the with the human characters that aren't Robotnik that are about as generic and about as filler based as they were in the first film, possibly even more so. But let's get to the story, shall we? The story takes place a little bit after the events of the first film, where Robotnik finds a way back to Earth, this time with Knuckles the Echidna, because they're seeking out the Master Emerald. That emerald is the source of ultimate power in this world, and in this universe, it apparently is created from the combination of all seven Chaos Emeralds. That's not how it was in the game, but hey, it's a movie, they can make enough changes for it to, for it to work for the climax. Anyways, so anyways Sonic get, get meets Tails, and the two of them have to find the Master Emerald before Knuckles and Robotnik, while, while, so while Sonic's uh, human friend from the first film is going to a wedding in Hawaii. Riveting. So yeah, while that subplot does take up a little bit of time in this film, thankfully it doesn't take up the time too much when it comes to the stuff that fans really want to see. Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles interacting, and Jim Carrey acting as over the top as possible for his supposed final performance. And if this is his final performance, then Jim Carrey goes out in the most Jim Carrey way you can expect. He is as loud, over the top, and, and crazed as possible. But then again, Robotnik was never subtle in the games, so it works here pretty well. On top of that, Idris Elba as Knuckles, he fits pretty well into Knuckles' pre-established character in the, other, in the other Sonic canon. He's not exactly very bright, but he does have a good warrior spirit, and he does happen to provide some really good fight scenes with Sonic, and Idris Elba plays off of that really well with the voice. In fact, Colleen O'Shaughnessy also plays Tails, and she's also the voice of Tails in a lot of the games, and you can definitely tell that she slips right back into the role as if she's hasn't has never left it. So I think she works really well as Sonic's best friend. She and uh, she fills Tails with a lot of fan, fanboy energy, but also a lot of t tech savvy expertise that Tails has always demonstrated in the games. On top of that, just like the first movie, there's a whole lot of references to, to Sonic lore and also Sonic fandom, and most of them I found pretty entertaining. The Echidna Clan, the Master Emerald, the, uh, the Death Egg, the Mean Bean Factory, which in this case is the Mean Bean Coffee Shop, and a certain surprise at the very end of the, of the film that basically not only teases the third film, but also teases a character that a lot of people have been wanting to see for a while. But I'm guessing that he, I'm guessing that we won't have the adaptation of a certain game that people have been asking for. But however he's implemented into the third film, I'm interested in seeing how it works. Not all the jokes land, but most of them are pretty good. The action scenes are generally a lot of fun, and it, it happens to basically end this way you'd want a Sonic movie to end with this kind of setup. So the parts that are good are even better than the first film. And the par parts that aren't as good, don't oversay their welcome. That's why I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. See you next time.